This is the um, June 29th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. It's uh, 601. I'll call the meeting to order. First item on the agenda, uh, the minutes of June 19th. Has everybody reviewed those minutes? They look great. Yeah, as usual. Yeah. Philip, any questions? No, they were very, they were very good. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for the June 19th meeting. Do I have a second? Yes, yeah, second. Yeah. In favor? Robert? Aye. Philip? Yes. Myself? All in favor. Okay. Uh, we have the minutes for June 22nd. Okay. Uh, those are not ready yet. They're not so we'll ready yet. Take so we'll right. table, we'll we'll table, table those. Yep. Okay. Meetings uh, attended by select board members. Do we have any meetings? I had a conservation commission meeting. We had a we had contract meeting contract negotiation uh, uh, executive session meetings on the school committee. So those end <laughs> never end. Oh. Okay, I had a uh, COVID update briefing last week. Um, just about you know, opening up and also some uh, financial stuff, which we already knew about. Uh, still a little sketchy. That was about it for last week. Uh, I don't see any public here, so we don't have any public comments. Uh, old business, uh, reopening the town offices. Um, I think everybody has the plan that Tom gave us, the more detailed plan. Uh, any questions on that or any additions, suggestions? I thought it looked very good, very thorough. I would just add the request that um, stuff be put on the town website uh, as appropriate and as soon as can be. The stuff that's appropriate to put on the website to put on it. Okay, that's fine. Right. Robert, you got anything? No, I thought it was great. I like, you know, it follows the state guidelines and I think Baker is doing a pretty good job trying to make us open up slow enough that we don't turn into Florida or some of the states that are trying to open up what feels like too quickly. Right, right. Yeah, I, I'm very impressed by the detail in this. Um, it, I think it covers just about everything. So. Uh, I, I do like the fact that it, it does recommend we still distance and wear masks until there's treatment or a vaccine available. And that's the state guideline. And, and you, you know, I, I wish that were stronger. <laughs> um, or it, I think here in Massachusetts, people are still pretty dedicated about sticking to those rules. Um, yeah, I think so. And certainly here in Western Massachusetts, we we're doing, we're doing pretty well. Yeah, you know, so. yeah, a lot of good, a lot of good detail in that. Uh, a lot of good detail. I went and got COVID testing tested on Saturday. And so, well, they say no news is good news, but it, they say you know it'll take at least forty-eight hours, and I assume that's business days. So I haven't heard yet, but I expect it'll be fine. But to me, coming up to town meeting was the most dangerous thing I have done yet. So, wow. And, and they say get tested. So I took that to heart and did it. Now, now what kind of a test did you get? Oh, a, a little swab shoved just a couple inches into the top of your nostril. Not, and, and just, just not the antibody test. They, they don't do that. Okay. So it wasn't the big swab all the way into your brain type of they thing? They don't do that anymore, John. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Oh, no, fortunately, I have heard about that one. No, it's a very easy test, and I went to a local urgent care, no appointment, drive up. They come out to your car and do it. You don't have to go inside. It could not have been easier. I really recommend everybody, if you have any question at all, go get tested. So, so there's no, uh, no need for any symptoms? No need for symptoms. No, you don't have to be old and fat or, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know anybody like that, but, you, you know, no, no, no symptoms, you know, no nothing. Um, 
they encourage you to come in and get tested and you just give them your Medicare number or whatever your insurance information is and it's free. Now, they have testing centers. You went to urgent care? I went to an urgent care, yeah, and there's an urgent care right down, I know, on Route 9 in Amherst. I don't know. There might be a, I don't, there's probably the, C the CVS, the CVS in Northampton. I, I, I went to CVS and then they say, no, you have to get an appointment online. And I went online and they ask you a million questions and then they say to you, you don't qualify. Oh. So, yeah. you know, it's, CVS is supposed to be free, but they ask you a million questions. And basically, if you don't have real hard symptoms, they, they won't give you the test. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad you got tested. I'd like to get tested just for the fun of it. My kids are glad I got tested. That's why I got tested. All right. Well, good. Good. All right. Uh, next item, the... Um, the scholarships. Uh, you know, you know what I'd like to do on this. I'd like to do a meeting just about this on Thursday at ten o'clock, ten thirty. Is that good with everybody? Uh, Thursday, ten thirty in the morning. Yeah. Well, let me look. Hold on. I think so. And we'll do. We won't do a Zoom. We won't do a Zoom call. We'll just do a conference call. I'm concerned about the privacy of the information. John, yeah. I'll assign I'll assign numbers to the um, to the names so that when you're doing the meeting, you can just refer to the people as number one, number two, et cetera. Great. Yeah, I, Lisa, I, I had already done that on the spreadsheet that I made. Oh, okay, good. To both Bob uh, and Philip. Is this an executive session though, or no? No, it's it's got to be it's got to be open. Okay. We'll do it on the phone. I just I, I just don't want. Too much personal information getting out. Is, yeah. is there any way that we could do it either sort of like at nine o'clock or at 12 o'clock? It's just sort of in the middle of the morning that there just chops up the morning in a way that doesn't work the best for me, but I could do Lise, it. Lise, what do you think? Yeah, um, I could do it at nine. Is do you want to do nine? Else? Philip, nine? That'd be better for me. Nine's okay. good. Okay. okay, nine o'clock on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Could you could you guys just hold hold a second? <laughs> gotta gotta put the dog down again. <laughs> that was tough to hear last week. We just had a downpour here, my goodness. Uh, we, we had a light rain and and it was really necessary. I don't know how dry it's been up there, but we got we got all we got all the month's rain today. Uh, we <laughs> yeah. had a light rain and it and it let rain most of the day slowly and boy did we need it. John, I have a question about about your chart. I I like your chart. Um I'm not sure what you mean by same, scores. same one we used last year. Yeah. What do you mean by scores? Uh, you know, uh, if, if they're going from high school to college, their SATs or their ACTs. Oh. You know, again, it might not apply. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, you know, oh, however you want to interpret that. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, all right, so we're all set for Thursday at nine o'clock on that, right? Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next item is the, um, the fiscal 2021 uh, committee and staff appointments. All right, what I'm going to do, we all have the list, but I'm going to read the list so it's in the record. All right. Uh, okay, appointments all starting July 1, 2020, uh, regional appointments through um, June 30th, 2021. Uh, it's Fred Wells Scholarship Committee representative is Kate French. The Regional Emergency Planning Committee 
Um, representative is Robert Baker. The Franklin County Solid Waste Management District Rep is Lynn Rubenstein. Uh, staff uh, through June 30th, 2021, Animal Control Officer Joseph Colucci. The Board of Assessors Clerk is Laura Hutt. The Board of Health uh, Clerk is Virginia Knowlton. The Highway Department, we have the Superintendent Ron Sweet, the Laborer Jason Stone, Driver Laborer Adam Baker, um, uh, and Nicholas Sweet. Administrative Assistant is Terry Walker, and the custodian is Deborah Craven. The Assistant to the Town Administrator is Lisa Tarowski. The Assistant uh, to Boards and Commissions is Alexis Federshenko. <laughs> um, Transfer Station Attendants, James Allen, uh, Roger Grochet, Leland Gray, Paul Lloyd, James Wakefield, Tom Eaton. The Treasurer Collector is Jan Warner. The Assistant Treasurer Collector is Lynn Kane. The Veterans Grave Officer is Donald Graham. Safety staff uh, through June 30th, 2021. <coughs> Excuse me, the Ambulance Director is Gemma Vandeheld. The Assistant Director is Christopher Herman. EMTs, uh, Amanda Donnell. Uh, first Responders, Bob Baker. Adam Baker, uh, Dakota Dean, Douglas Dean, Christina Lankridge, uh, Emergency Management, George Murphy, Director, uh, Veronique uh, Blanchard is the Assistant Director. The Enhanced 911 Coordinator is Robert Baker. The Fire Department, we have Chief and Forest Officer Warren, Warden is uh, Robert Baker. The Deputy Chief, Deputy Forest Warden is Ron Hawks. The Deputy Chief, Adam Baker, Captains, Matthew Borden and Christopher Herman, Lieutenants, Joseph Paramba, uh, Nicholas Vanderheld, Clerk is Laura Hutt, Firefighters, uh, Robert Armstrong Jr., uh, Helen Baker, um, Daniel Blakesley, Howard Boyden, uh, Willis Burt Burnett, Claire Conklin, John Conan II, Deb Craven, Dakota Dean, Douglas Dean, Amanda Donnell, Christina Lankridge, uh, Tim Lancar, uh, Gabriel Lyons Sosa, uh, Brooke uh, Romanowitz, Steven Gala, Kyle Stoles, uh, Gemma Vandehel, Junior Fire Firefighters, and Kyle Baker, uh, Bradley Lancar. Uh, Michael O'Connell, Amanda Romanowitz, Chief, uh, Ken We Met, Reserve Officers, uh, Donald Bates, Christina Conklin, Ron Hawk, Hawks, uh, Nathan Jackman, uh, David Johnson, Randall Williams. Committees through June 30th, 2021. Highway Facilities Committee, Walter Goodrich, Hank Horseman, Peter Jeswald, Ken We Met, Ron Sweet, and Olivia Wyatt. Okay. Um, do we have any questions on any of those? Uh, I, I didn't, if, if, if Lisa sent that out, I didn't get it. Or uh, could you, could Lisa send that out again? In, in yeah, I can send that out again. I, I got it in the packet that was. Yeah, it was it? It was in the. Uh, it was in the week. packet for the agenda posting last week, Bob. That Tom sent out. For last week. Or that least no 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 Lisa sent it out last week, for tonight, and it was in that package. Okay, I'll along with the, about, along with the agenda and the, and the minutes. Yeah, there are about eight different attachments. Yeah. I'll, I can send it to you again, Bob. Great. So to, the, your email, to your town email address, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. The, the only question I have about that is it, it just seemed like the transfer station attendant. I, I think that the we included somebody that may have resigned or Wakefield. Yeah. 
Now, James Wakefield didn't resign. He's taking kind of a leave of absence because his wife is oh. ill. So he's still, he's still there and he still uh, may be involved uh, periodically. But uh, his, his wife is ill and he, he needs, uh, you know, to be kind of a, a standby. Seth okay. and Eaton came on full time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? All right, um, I'll make a motion that we accept all these appointments. We approve all these appointments uh, for the terms that I, I specified. Do I have a second? Second. Second, Robert. Uh, all in favor, Philip? Yes. Okay, Robert? Aye. Okay, and myself, we're all in favor. Unanimous vote. Thank you. Okay. All right, the next item is um, a request for um, trust fund assistance. Um, has every, any, everybody read that, that request? Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah, my, is, it, is it okay my question with everyone? About that, if, somebody, if somebody could uh, expand upon the accountant's concern or, or what, whatever that was noted as, about buying it versus not buying it, or I, I didn't quite understand the concern there. Well, okay, it says the account would prefer that the town buy the unit, but said an invoice and proof of payment would work. Okay. What is, what is he talking about? What's that? What is he talking about? He's talking about an invoice and proof of payment. But why would the town buy the union? I, I didn't understand that comment. I, I, I don't either. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, essentially, what we're doing is we're giving this grant to this uh, resident for this water heater. Okay. Right. Yeah. And and this isn't one of those situations where we're going to take back a lien. We're just going to give them a grant. Right. Because it's a minimal amount of money. And, and he's suggesting that we should call up Home Depot and order it ourselves? No, 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 no. We're, we're, we're just going to do the grant. Okay. And what we're going to need is an invoice and proof of payment. That seems perfectly reasonable. It is. So I think it is. Too. We, we reimburse them and maybe that's hard. Is it? Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah you know, we need, we need proof. We need proof that that's what, what the money was spent for. We're giving this grant um, out of the Germain Fund, uh, which allows us to uh, to give grants to residents in distress. Yeah. And since this is a minimal amount of money, we're not going to take uh, a lien like we have in the past for more expensive improvements. Right? Right. Everybody agree with that? Yes. Uh, any any other questions on approving? Well, this? I'm wondering is would that mean could some, could they come in and pick up a check from Jan made out to Home Depot or you know I mean uh, that that's what I thought it meant that the, the the town would would do the initial payment for the unit instead of a reimbursement after they've bought the unit. Yeah, I, I we'll let Tom we'll let Tom and Jan work out the logistics. Okay, uh, based on, on the recommendation of, and of so the that, Philip, what? No, I mean that. So, so that that would that would help that would help the person that, and that way they wouldn't have to pay up front. Right, right, and that's what we've done before. Y y um, y you know, we would provide a check to a contractor who then did a bunch of work. And right. W we were actually you know paying ahead of the work being done under the assumption that. That it would get done, uh, and it was it was critical work, and it did right. get. But we we paid you know in advance. That you know. And we we don't want to delay this process because it's right. a water heater. Right. It's kind of necessary. All right. So I'll make a motion that we approve this payment of four hundred fifteen dollars and fifty six cents to buy a water heater for a resident who needs this. Do I have a second? Yeah. Second, yeah. Second, Philip, all right, all in favor? 
Robert. I. And Philip and myself. Yeah. We're all, all good on that. Okay. Uh, next item. Uh, request what, what from the council. That's what right. I'm. Go ahead. That didn't come out. What would we do without shark bites? <laughs> <laughs> well, all <laughs> one day involves shark bites. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Next item is request from the council on aging for an ice cream social in the Memorial Park on July 30th. Every, is everybody in favor of that? Yes. Yeah. And Tom said they agreed to distance and mask and, you know, you follow the town and state rules and that's good. I'm sure they will, Robert. It's hard to eat an ice cream cone with a mask on, but yeah. <laughs> there, there will be certain times you can lower your mask. They have, they have masks now that have a flap for you to go to restaurants in. You can sort of <laughs> A little Velcro thing up top, and you, you get your mouth. <laughs> Not ready for that yet. They have them. Yeah, well, they also have them where you can put a straw through them so you can drink. Oh, there I like it. Yeah. That's better. All right. Um, I, I guess we have to. Um, uh, we have to approve that. So I'll make a motion that we approve the Council on Aging uh, request for an ice cream social in the Memorial Park on July 30th. Do I have a second? Second. Second for Robert. Okay, Philip, do you, do you approve? Yes. yes, absolutely. And myself? Me too. I skipped, I skipped over an item that I shouldn't have back in under old business. Under um, reopening town offices, uh, Tom would also like us to, uh, to declare that all town employees are essential workers so that right. they can all come in to uh, the office. All right, so I'll make a motion that we declare all town employees essential workers. Do I have a second? Yes. Okay, all in favor? Yes. Hello, yes. Robert, myself, okay. Uh, I don't think we have any items 40, uh, not anticipated 48 hours in advance. Um, Lisa, did Tom leave an update at all? No, he didn't. Okay. Um, any concerns of our selectmen? No. Okay. Uh, I don't have any mail. I don't have any announcements. Uh, John, we should announce that the town election is tomorrow. And the uh, town election tomorrow is in the town hall from 11 to 7. Yeah. Um, and our next meeting is going to be Thursday at nine o'clock. Okay, and it's gonna be conference call, not Zoom. So uh, when, Lisa, when Lisa posts the, the agenda, she will have the, uh, the information at the top um, to call in. And that's the, uh, the, the call in number we use. Okay. Uh, the 1540 number. All right. Okay. Okay. Any other business to come before the board? None here. Nope. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a nope. second? Second. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. All right. We'll uh, we'll talk to you Thursday. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>